head ourselves over to the hard goods. Oh, they did just bring out a cart. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he was $7.99, so, you know, he wasn't a total cheapie. Oh, look at that purple casserole. Who makes you? What are these little guys? Definitely got some vintagey vibes going on these. They are $2.99 each. All right, I have just enough time to head over to the purses. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I just dropped Rachel off at her horseback riding lesson and I am popping over to the Goodwill that's just down the street because it's really too short of a time to like go home and do anything and it's too long of a time to just sit and wait and she prefers I not sit and watch her lesson. It makes her nervous. Kind of makes me nervous too. So I am over at the Goodwill and uh, she's tootling around on a horse. Works for us. Uh, so I'm going to get in here and it is the first day of the new color turning to 50%. So I'm hoping to find some good deals on the shelf like I did at the last store. So let's get inside and let's get shop done. All right, first things first, let's grab a lucky cart. I know I'm going to go for one that is not out here waiting. It's my little thing. And orange is the color. Let's see. Do we go to hard goods or we go here? Hard goods, here. All right, let's go straight. Let's go see if there's anything interesting back here in the furniture. We've got fresh racks of clothes. It'd be nice if they bring out fresh racks of goodies. So I'm taking a peek over there. Look at that big giant, giant bridge picture. That's kind of cool. I would have absolutely no place to put it, but it's kind of cool. All right, I don't see anything too enticing here. So maybe that file cabinet, but I really don't want to put a file cabinet in the car, but let's see how much it is. It's 25 bucks. I could really use this file cabinet to tell you the truth. I don't know, maybe I'll come for it tomorrow. Take a peek on this side. Is that a no, don't need it, don't need it. Mm, and nothing here. All right, let's head ourselves over to the hard goods. Oh, they did just bring out a cart. Look at that, look at that. Let's see, who's in here? Are those melamine? I don't know who makes those ones, not anything high end. I see a crayon, what are you? Well, you, well, you're fun. Well, what do you do? What do you hold? What does that hold? I like it. I like the crayon. I'm enamored by the crayon. Okay, I don't know what the crayon does, but I'm gonna get it. If you know what the crayon does, tell me down in the comments. Got a little Star Wars dude. Let's see, Sam Adams. Got a gamer mug. Those are kind of cheaply made. We got some Justice League and Super Pets guys. And a Zuru Smashers. A couple of Batmans in there. Accessorized. Yeah, no, okay, nothing, nothing overly exciting on the rack. So let's go see what might have made its way out to the shelves already. I see a big, beautiful doggy. That's Muffin by Danbury Mint. Isn't she pretty? She's a very lightweight resin. And her bow is broken, yeah. Had a broken, I was, I was leaning toward getting her until I found the broken bow broken pedal made in China okay 
All right, all right, let's see. Pineapple patio string set. We do not need that. Oh, that's a pretty jewelry box. Got a little ding to the corner. A little ding there. A few too many dings to pay $5.99 for it. It's kind of a pretty bowl. I see a sisal owl. I do really, really well with these sisal animals. And uh, he is $5.99 though. Arr, they call him the iced twig owl. I wish he wasn't $5.99. That's a little more than a little more than I want to pay for him. Who makes you $14.99? Okay, alright. Hmm. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't panic. I've started out this way many a time and still ended up finding many a cool thing like a glass black nope broken broken he is chipped all right let's see over here it's this little lion i don't know oh there would have been like two more of these and it's a pot sitter so you can put your potted plant on there precious moments he is damaged otherwise he'd be cool see this little pottery piece here with the lizard crawling out of it it is a hobby piece i kind of like it though <laughs> i mean it's just a student piece oh he's got a broken tail goodness gracious all right it's gonna be one of those nights hmm will we end up with anything in the cart i think we will because i just found a piece of fenton for $4.99. Yes, there we go. All right, well, that makes me feel better. Sand vase filler. I wonder what that retails for. Hmm, I feel like I could use that for one of my projects, but I don't, you don't want to get it unless it's like an incredible deal. Now, I always pick these up when I find them. They are sand paintings, it's a paperweight. Think of the painstaking process. So they would have made it this way and they pour the first color in and then they pour another color in and then they kind of paint, quote unquote, by pushing down the, the colors into where they go. That's why you see a lot of mountains and cactus and that kind of things because they can push those into place. So for $2.99, we're gonna pick that up. I know, I see him sitting here I see the little sloth. He would hold an air plant really, really well. Oh, he was $7.99, so, you know, he wasn't a total cheapie. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll get the sloth. Now, these angels have kind of been sparking my interest. They do appear to be vintage. They almost feel like paper mache. They look to be in really good condition and they are half price. So now they are just $3. I think I'll pick them up and see who they are. All right, that is that shell. We'll take a peek up top to make sure we're not missing anything cool. I will go look at that basket on the end when I get over there. But first there is a Nautilus shell sculpture for $5.99, I will pick that up. I am all about the sea creatures. Oh, who are you? Oh, there's just one. I thought this was a whole bag of these little cuties in here, but it's not. Little apple trinkets, vase, coasters, a little student piece pig, dream of tomorrow, I always do. Okay, nothing else on that shelf. But these guys, little, little set of black deer, ceramic figurals. Now, remember, I am creating some projects, and this is just the kind of thing that I need. And at $1.50, it's right up my price range. You guys are really sweet. You're a Betsy Clark. 
Now, I don't know how Betsy Clark figures do. I know Betsy Clark's pretty popular. And those are pretty adorable. I'll rescue this one. I thought this was a turkey at first, but it's not. It is a peacock. A little 99 cent peacock. It originally came from like one of the dollar store type places. It's not super high end. And then there's another jewelry box for $9.99. Very similar to the one I saw at the last Goodwill that was $49.99. Go figure. This one has the key. There's the mechanism under there. And this one is a rouge. Is it rouge or rouge? Rouge plays Ava Maria. And it's the San Francisco Music Box Company made in Italy. I will pick that up for 10. Who is he from? He looks really familiar, but I can't place the uh, character. He came from Target. Maybe he's nobody. Maybe I'm just dreaming. Oh, here's another. This one also plays. This one is $5.99. This isn't as nice as that last one. This is a Sankyo. But it's also really nice and it plays really nice. Hmm. Nice, simple. I'll grab it. All right, candles. I dream of a glassy baby. Still have not found one in the wild. I have one sitting on my desk that was a gift. Uh, it's inscribed on the back. It was given as like a trophy for something. So it's on my desk because it's just a good reminder and feelsy of, you know, how to spot one when I do spot one. And uh, it's holding pens. And I got laughed at for that. <laughs> All right, here is the, oh, he's in rough shape. Cool basket, but it's in rough shape. Look at the size of that candle holder. Wow, it's 20 bucks. It's not as tall as I am, but it, it comes up to my chest. Yeah, that's a tall candle holder. All right, let's see what's over here. What is that? Are those little canvases? <gasps> They're little squirt. Those are perfect Rachel size canvases. I'm grabbing those. I am really encouraging Rachel to do more art that I can sell in my whatnot sales. Um, oh, look at that, it says Rouge too. Um, because everybody loves Rachel's art. She even made little doodles for people in the last sale. This one is 20. I don't think I want to swing 20 on this one, but I'll keep an eye if it's still here when it gets discounted. I whaley love you. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I just, uh, I just keep encouraging Rachel and more and more. She's, she's gonna be more and more part of things. She came down and worked at the store with me on Monday. People's Dairy. It's just a little commercially made sign. Oh my, happiness is where you find it. Uh, indeed, indeed. Look at this flower canister. You're kind of interesting. You're very, very heavy though. Mm, you are a solid wood. It looks handmade, actually. They want $12.99. I will pass on it for $12.99. I would pick it up later when it's on sale, if it is still here. All right. Another, looks like somebody's little jewelry box collection got donated. That one's not as nice though. All right, we got the metal shelf. Look at him. Ooh, he's nice. I like him for $2.99. That's also a nice piece. Look at the little stone inlay. I It sits like this. It's got feet and it's only $3.99. I love it. Let's see what this is. Oh, towel holders for hanging. 
All right. I just got a message that uh, Rachel's trainer has to leave right at eight o'clock. So I have to do a little bit of a speed shop to get done and get back there. It's less than 10 minutes away, so I have time. But I feel like I just dropped her off and it's already like, oh no. I guess uh, time flies when you're having fun, right? And we're not even going with the silver plate, even though this punch bowl is somewhat interesting. No, 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 not doing it. All right, let's see if there's any good uh, fakeness here. This is the fakeness shelf. Nope, nothing there. It's a nice art pottery plate. Not signed. Those look like dragonflies, but not quite. I don't know. If they were a little more dragonfly -y, I would probably pick those up. It's kind of cute. Hmm. Ooh, that's interesting. It's all tin. That's intriguing. It's all tin. I mean, you couldn't put water or anything in it. It would just be for like artificial flowers, but had a neat look to it. Oh, I wish there was two of these. Black glass, $2.99. You know what? This is cool enough to pick up just a single. And one more possible spot to find the mate to that but I don't see it. Jaunt down the plastics. Nothing too exciting here today. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's see what we've got in the plates. I love these mid-century stoneware, but I just don't dare pick them up because they don't sell very fast and they take up a lot of room it's fine to have things that you know sell slow if they also don't take up a lot of room but when you have larger items you kind of need them to sell unless they're super high-end and worth the real estate that they are taking up that's the key ah i saw these same ones somewhere else today all right nothing here glassware. Those are kind of nice. Those are probably the Mikasa Cheers in whatever type of glass that is. I don't really know all of the cocktail types and the glasses that go with them. I'm really not a big drinker, so despite what you might hear about me liking White Claws, I do like a White Claw. But uh, I'm not, I'm not a heavy drinker, like cocktails and such. Let's see. That's a shoebox. I thought maybe it was um, a Lola's and it's not. These are a little interesting, but it's just like a decal on there. I mean, they are, they are cool though. Another day, I might be convinced to pick those up, but today is not that day. Hmm. All right. Don Ho. Wow. That has been dishwashered as well. Let's see if we got any coffee mugs. A black belt is a white belt that never gave up. That's cute. Little kitty mug is cute. $2.99. I don't feel like I need to pick him up for $2.99 today. But maybe the fox? Maybe the fox mug for $0.99? Cents? Yes. Or is he a raccoon? Oh, I think he's a raccoon. Alright. Oh, look at that. Purple casserole. Who makes you? You are a Rachel Ray. 
3.5 quart. That's pretty darn cool right there. The purple color. It's $9.99. I don't know how Rachel Ray sells. Man, I like that, but I'm going to leave that for somebody else or another time if it's still here later. These little cups go with this little teapot. Six dollars. Yeah. Don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. The little chef guy is ten dollars. Not super tempting. What are these little guys? <gasps> Definitely got some vintage -y vibes going on these. They are $2.99 each. I don't know if I like these ones. That he's chip. I don't know if I like these ones as much as I like. I like this little guy. I know he's not painted very well or anything, but he's just kind of super cute look. But he's got a big crack too. Darn it. Darn it. And there's the grandma. Oh, I just... I don't think those are real big sellers, so I'm going to leave them. Heading through the cookware. Ooh, a marble rolling pin. Oh, what a shame. Got dropped. That sucks. <laughs> that would have been a really nice pickup for $5.99. Darn it. But then there is one of these... Um, this one looks more decorative than functional, and it's a newer one. Some of the older ones of these are actually made to like roll out and make the cookies. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to look at the blue enameled colander, which is $5.99, and I feel like that is a good pickup. Mishy mashy section. Oh, we got some little uh, West Highland White Terriers. Pickin? Pickin is a good name. Usually I see those on pillows. I don't see how much this is, but I can't imagine it's too much. So I am going to pick that up. Let's see if there's anything else we need. Those are brackets for shelving. Oh, they got $7.99 on those. Darn it. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, look at all of the adult coloring books. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of them. A lot of them. Don't need it, Danny. Don't need it. You haven't used the ones you bought last time. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, we got a little mishy mash going over here. Anything we need? No, no, no. Hmm. You know, Goodwill puts their baggies on the shelf. Savers puts their baggies on a wall. I put my baggies on a wall. What do you prefer, wall or shelf? I see marbles hiding in this little guy right here. It looks like they came out of a game. Missing one lid. Mm. Yeah, I can't even tell you what my preference is. Oh, this is not my niche, but I know these are super expensive. These Power Wheel batteries, $14.99 might not be a bad price. Let's see what's in the pet section. That is a cool piece for an aquarium, $12.99. See, it probably heard me say that those are kind of pricey. <laughs> Our axolotl could actually use something else, but... Yeah, I'm not going to spend that much. I've spotted a lamp that I have to look closer at. Oh, he's got a broken ear. He's half price. That's that's a bummer. That is a cool lamp. Let's see if there's anything else in the lamps. Mm, I don't see anything. No, no temptations. All right, I'm going to briefly kind of look through the art got a sleeping kitty just a little art print not anything i need to pick up today hmm 
Nothing's really grabbing me. New York Taxi number one. That's kind of a cool print. It's got the Coca-Cola advertising, but it's just a poster print in like a poster frame, pretty cheaply done. Yeah, let's see. Big old mirror. Some bigger artwork. All right, let's head over and see if there's anything over in the textiles. Found this on the little end cap. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It says 3228 Sewing Studio. But I don't, I don't know what it's for. It's got like a pouch. What would you use that for? It's even got its original tag here. I mean, they're on Instagram. It's only 99 cents. I don't know, might make a good little giveaway. That makes me say, okay, what else is on this end cap? That's cute. That's a pop holder. Pioneer Woman. Table Runner? Hmm. Pioneer Woman sells for crazy prices still. This is only $3.99 new in the package. You know what? I think I'm going to take a chance on it. We've got some needle craft kits. Little ones. I don't see anything really speaking to me. Is that another one? No, that's holiday time. Is that vintage? It might be. Let's see. It says Paris inside. It's got a little tortoiseshell plastic home. I do think that is a little vintage clutch. It is a little dirty. Oh, it's $5.99. All right, we'll leave that. Let's see what's over here in the tablecloths. That's a big chunk of red felty fabric. I don't know what those are. I think those are curtains, bed skirts, any pillow covers. No, nope, nope, don't see anything. And then they have pillows over here. Let's give it a once over. The cat is vaguely calling me. Oh, it's not in great condition. It's been pretty, pretty mushed, but he's cute. Wow, look at all that yarn. Some good yarn selection tonight. And then we're gonna look at the clothes, the toys. I don't know why I said the clothes. I saw My Little Pony. Puzzle. What are these guys? They are caught. They're caught on little Barbie head there. They're mud pie. Oh, I think I saw these before. Little pull toys. Let's see if we got anything up here. Rattlesnake Jake. An Air Alice Alice registered nurse. That's who that is. All right, nothing exciting in the toys. All right, I have just enough time to head over to the purses and see if there's anything we need to pick up tonight, like a fuzzy zebra print. I like that. Who makes you fuzzy zebra print? Okay, come over to the cart. It's open. You are Therese. How much are you? $12.99. I forgot. They love to do their purses at $12.99. I mean, that's a good price for, for a nice purse. Um, for resale, not so much because I generally get yeah, anywhere from $15 to $25 for the average purse. So I have to buy them at a very good price that is like a faux it's not even faux fur that feels like real steer hide on a nine west now that one's half price i wonder why the half price like why did nobody want this one because it's i mean yeah it's a little bit dirty on the inside let's see are you worn oh that's why yep he's a little worn out what is this one back here I don't know what that 
is. That's a Rosetti. Yeah, nothing. Nothing super fab. Hmm, I totally bummed about the uh, zebra print one. That is a faux fur. Ah, oh, worn out, worn out. I see why they're still here at Orange Tag. And, you know, that means they're half price because they've got that damage. This little green number here is cute. It's a, what are you? I can't see who you are. Who are you? Show me, reveal yourself. I am something. That one converts to crossbody. Again, though, $12.99, Rosetti. Where is Rosetti sold? Why is there so much Rosetti? Is that like a Target brand? Walmart brand? I see lots of Rosetti ending up at the Goodwills. Just curious where that comes from. That also tells me who's still watching the video at this point. Well, it looks like that is what I'm ending up with. I gotta head back and go pick up Rachel and uh, stay tuned. I will do a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. And then I'll uh, come back afterwards with who knows what. At this point, I'm not sure, but it'll be something. shopping there but I found some really good things including that Fenton basket always fun to find a piece of Fenton at the Goodwill okay I hope you like what you saw if you did hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you know the little thumbs up -y thing it helps the channel and I am working hard to grow and bring you more great content I hope it's great content I hope you like it I think I think it's pretty safe to say if you have stayed to this point in the video, I'm doing something right. So thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate you. And uh, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. I thought it'd be nice to do a little torty update. This is Priscilla. This is the one who was really, really sick, and we had to take her to the vet, get her all fixed up, but she is just uh, enjoying the happy life right now. Uh, we had to put rocks in the corners 
of her uh, little uh, habitat because she got this new idea to start climbing. And then she flips herself over and this is not a good situation for a little tortoise. It's also the reason she's in the house because uh, if she flips herself over outside and we don't find her, that would be a really, really, really bad thing. All right, I know I'm disturbing you. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back down. You have a nice sun bath. And of course we have our little Hope. Remember she was the rescue who had a 50-50 chance of surviving. And now we've had her for two years and she's doing fantastic. And she really, really loves her dandelion greens. And she loves the camera too. <laughs> she is not camera shy at all, this one. She is such a joy. I turn her little light on in the morning and she pops her little head up and says, hello, hello. Yes, you're our sweet little turtle, huh? Turtle, tortoise. Well, I guess a tortoise is a turtle. It's just not all turtles are tortoises. All right, you enjoy your breakfast. It's too cold for this guy to come out yet, but uh, he's snoozing in his doghouse right now. He's got options. He can either go in his doghouse or he can go underneath his doghouse like a little burrow, but right now he's just chilling. He's just chilling in there. Bobbles, on the other hand, is under here. Let's see if we can spot him. I don't know. Where are you, Bubs? <laughs> They'll come out when it gets a little warmer. It's been a really strange year for the tortoises. Normally by this time, they're out every morning and eating and I could get all kinds of footage, but this year, it's still a little chilly in the mornings and uh, I'm waiting to see what their patterns are gonna be. Shelly's like completely under. I couldn't even get the camera under to show Shelly. She's my big girl and she knows how to burrow down. Uh, so be watching uh, in the future for more of the tortoise coverage. And if you haven't done so already, head over to my new channel, Niche Lady Critter Cams, where there is going to be lots of cool stuff coming, including like live streamed uh, my aquarium cams, we're trying to figure out a bougie cam for my Quaker parrot and uh, a tortoise cam would just not be very exciting because they don't do much, but I will put lots of tortoise updates and footage over there as well. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you ever so much. And with that now, go be profitable and make it fun. See you on the next one.